Hello, I'm the Atheist Gamer. Today I'm not going to be ranting with my bomb hat because, you know, this is me just being completely sincere, not angry, I'm not here to tell that person that she is wrong for believing what she believes in. She's just asking a simple question, and I think that I should answer it considering that um, Mr. Repsion is going to be a bit busy dealing with other stuff. I, you know, I figured that I should just give up, give out my thoughts about it. So, uh, here's the video. Hi, Mr. Epsion. My name's Anna, and I just wanted to challenge your views that you have on feminism just a little bit. Um, when I first started watching your videos, I actually thought that you were kind of a huge dick. Um, I didn't I didn't get a chance to watch all of them. I, I just saw your first three where you were burning Fifty Shades of Grey, and I was like, oh my god. Um, but after watching a, a bunch of other ones, I realized that you're actually quite an egalitarian, and I really appreciate a lot of your videos. I'm a subscriber now. Um, but the other interesting thing is I do consider myself a feminist, and I know you personally have um, labeled yourself as a humanist, and I just wanted to question why you consider yourself a humanist and not a feminist. And we're just speaking from a dictionary definition here. If you Google feminism, the definition of feminism is the belief that men and women should have equal rights or should be considered equal in the eye of the law, in the eye of society, and all of that fantastic stuff. And that's why I would label myself as a feminist because I personally believe in true equality between men and women. None of this, like, women should definitely get um, rights to have their rights over children, or and men should be able to do whatever they, I don't know, do whatever they want, whatever. Um, but I want to question why you consider yourself a humanist and not a feminist. Here's my question to you. Why are you not a humanist, but a feminist? I mean, clearly to you that they're both, they both are for equal rights. However, you chose to be a feminist because that's the thing. Um, you, you need to explain a little bit better in your video on why you are a feminist and not a humanist. You see, feminists usually tend to make feminism look bad. And, you know, that's the thing. It's not just a few feminists here and there that make feminism look bad. No, 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 no. This is the majority of feminism. I mean, feminists that make it, that make feminism look bad. I mean, back then, they serve a good purpose at the very least because they, ha they were actually oppressed. Women were actually oppressed. And they were really fighting for equality at that time. But nowadays, it doesn't seem like they're really fighting for equality. They're complaining about areas that they shouldn't really complain about. Uh, most feminists complain about how there's a major wage gap, despite the fact that women have, um, you know, women have different behaviors. Uh, I'm not saying that there are no women out there who take out um, dangerous jobs like um, firefighting or um, rescuing animals or whatnot. But the majority of men, you know, risk their lives pretty much more often than women. So therefore, they of course they're going to receive much more pay than women. They're, 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 feminists don't really seem to complain about how men, you know, have to pay for child support or how men have to sp spend more time in prison than women for the same crime, of course. You don't see feminists complain about that. Maybe you see one or two, you know, one or two feminists out there who would complain about it. But other than that, you don't see that many feminists doing that at all. You just don't. You see, feminism is just like being a Nazi. Just because you see a good uh, few Nazis here and there, you know, helping children, 
or you know uh, actually being kind to you by giving you food or water or money just because you see a few of them here and there doesn't mean that the majority of Nazis are automatically good no it, it, the being a Nazi is still bad just like on how being a feminist is still bad now <laughs> the term equality is different from each person from each individual and most of the time when you talk about you know when a feminist talk about equality their equality is not exactly on how uh, people see to be equal at all because again majority of feminists complain more about um, the problems of women rather than the problems of humanity you know this is why I am not a feminist because feminists tend to lean, lean towards more to the problems with women rather than the problems of everyone regardless on race and gender because after all we're humans first men women you don't see people going around saying that humanism sucks ass because humanist the majority of humanists are pretty good people and they really do in fact you know bring logic you know bring a a uh, logical standpoint while feminists the majority of feminists do not these feminists do not really focus on equality rather their own personal dream of their own perfect world <clears throat> it is that simple so now you're gonna ask yourself this question why are you a feminist and not a humanist despite knowing that feminists tend to have you know tend to show this negative impact towards society why become that when you can become a feminist I mean not a feminist a humanist why should people become a, a feminist that's the question you should be asking yourself I'll be expecting a video response. Till then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.